I'm your mom and you're my son. And I am falling in love with him. He said, are you really? I said, yes, I am. He said, you know what? I was scared to let you know, too. I am, too. We're both consenting adults. If, what? If uh, it comes down to it, you know, it's just like the gays. They're, they're you know, as long as they're over 18, everything's fine. DUS wants to jail them for 18 months. I asked months. him, will you ever date your mom? And he said, will you date your son? I said, honest truth, yes, I would. Because 19 years, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. And I really want to be with you the rest of my life. been a long time since I um since I tried to like this it's been a long time come on bro come on bro come on it's it's been a long it's been a long time yo yo son I'm not even one of those people that run around and say we are living in the end of times we're coming to the end of days I ain't one of those people I ain't super religious but this right here is demonic behavior. This is demonic behavior. For the past 19 years, you've been the best thing that happened to my life. He's supposed to be the best thing that happened to your life. He's your son. He's your son. The first approach was actually me. Um, what happened was we were we were hanging out and you know just talking, you know, just laughing. And I looked at her and she looked at me and I just I kissed her. It was a real kiss. It was yeah, I had feelings behind it. It, I, I, it had a spark. Sometimes I call him Hinojito, as that means son. Once in a while he calls me mom. You know what I mean? Their case is about whether I have the right to love somebody. I I sure as hell have the right to love Monica. Both of them mental. Both of them mental. It started with her. Because that's his mother. And he got that mental shit from her. I'm not a lawyer, but I could make the case to say that she been grooming him for 19 years. How about that? She has been grooming him for 19 years. She is beyond a predator. She is beyond a predator. This bitch is the master chief of predators. She is the master chief of predators, bro. She has been grooming her son for 19 years so she can get... So she can get that dick. I'm sorry to say... Just, I really want to threesome, like, I want two dicks inside my pussy, and that's it, you know what I mean? What? Bro, what's going on today? That was out of nowhere, I feel where you're coming from. I want, because I never had it, so, like, you know, two dicks. Like, get one, it. one, one like, in the back, one in the front? Period, I want a dick in my ass, and I want a dick in my pussy, you know what I mean? But what about the mouth? That's the third hole. Bitch, fuck it, three holes. My three grandpa, holes. hell three yeah. Holes. Hey, holes in can I be one of them? Period, yeah. period. Shit. Fuck I, it all. I, 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 I never had a threesome, fuck it up for you. Well, shit, we need two more. Hey, hey. No, no, no. Yo, look at homie face. He like, nah. Hey. She belonged to the streets. She belonged to the streets. I will say this, man. I don't I don't want to judge nobody, you know what I'm saying? But um Yeah, I ain't having no threesome with no other man. Too many dicks don't mix. Okay? 
Too many dicks don't mix. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I was in high school, we ran trains. But um, now that I know better, I've been exposed to uh, the world. I've experienced the world. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't down for none of that, folks. And the way she talking, like she talking like she want both of them in the same hole at the same time. And if you're going for that, then boss man, you 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 playing for the wrong team. You feel what I'm saying? If you're going for that, then you you trying out for the wrong team. I just want to throw that out there. You know, you could interpret it how you want to interpret it, but you know, you walking across the street. You walking across the street, bro. You ain't. <laughs> Let me. I'm sorry. I'm 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 sorry. Uh. You walking on the wrong side of the street. You feel what I'm saying? You don't watch too much of them damn blues movies. Trying to put fit two uh two hot dogs in one bun. What's your name? You can keep going. You know my time. What is your name? Oh. I wasn't even. Now I'm about to come for you. Fix your teeth. Relax. You know you my son. No, you're too short. You're my niggas. I don't know you. Wait, did she say you're my? I don't know you. I don't know you either. So, no. So what happened? You no. Yeah, to yeah, There's you no match here. There's you no huff. match. Cause you There's huff. Because you huff. No match because they all want to be cocky. Nah, cause you, you huff. Fucking, I can buy all these niggas. You flexing. You know that. Cap. Right? What's your name? You keep going. You know my. Cap. Yeah, I'ma keep it hundred. She got her feelings hurt. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, he kept the G. You kept. You keep going. You know, I'm not interested. She got her feelings hurt. She thought she'd come over there. She got them damn leggings on. She thought them uh them goofy ass cheeks was gonna get her some play. Niggas wasn't feeling that. They wasn't feeling that. But the crazy thing is, she told one of the dudes, You're my cousin. So if you got a boyfriend, why are you even there? Why are you even there wasting people's time? That's why you got what you deserve. You keep moving. Hey, he kept the G, man. He kept the G. It don't even matter what she said after that. He kept the G. Shout out to that young man. Oh, I just wanted to come on here, as y'all probably know me as the Home Depot girl, the girl who went viral, and just talk about how God is really testing my life right now and just testing my faith and trying to keep my patience in him and just trust that there's a bigger thing coming out of all this. Since I blew up on the internet, I have had so much backlash, good and bad. Like, it's been a lot of good, but you know, you also have that percentage of bad. Like, everybody on Twitter hates me for what? I don't know. Like, I literally don't know just because I stood up for myself and that's fine. Um, and then Instagram's really cool. And then, you know, other situations that have happened throughout this whole process that have just kind of been crazy. But I literally had to kind of quit my job in this process because of how much I grew and how many people actually seen this. And people were illegally doxing my address and also figuring out where I worked because... Damn. You know, Damn. I Y'all boys are thirsty, my girl, man. my location on Twitter and Home Depot. So if you put math together, like people start figuring stuff out. So now I'm going to have to probably move and just, you know, kind of relocate and start fresh. And I just feel like I just... I'm grateful to God because this opportunity gives me a chance to start over. I also gained a platform and that means a lot to me because I work really hard making, you know, my faith, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content. So this kind of helps me go towards that direction. But it's also scary because I actually haven't received like any type of brand deals or anything like that. A lot of people think that like my net worth is going to flip now because of fame. Um, that's not how it works. It just kind of, it's unmotivating, but I have faith that God is going to make all of this work out in my favor. So yes, yeah, some doors had to close, but I also know God is going to make a lot of doors open in my favor. So I'm just taking it with the winds, taking the punches, 
you know, smiling through all this, praying and just knowing that God has me. Just know in due time when the answers and what is for me needs to be revealed, it'll be revealed. I know God is going to make everything work out in my favor in the end and he's going to bless me, you know, so much because I kept faith in him. I posted his word. I kept my head strong and through all this, I actually haven't caught any anxiety through any of this and I haven't been like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do next? Because I just know, like, I feel in my heart, you know, when you know you're doing right, you know God is going to bless you and I just kind of wanted to come on here and rant a little bit because I just haven't really had anybody to talk to, you know, so yeah. So I just wanted to come on here as Shout out to that beautiful young lady. If y'all don't know who she is, man, she went viral um, because she posted a picture in her Home Depot uniform. And, you know, she's a gorgeous lady. And I'm surprised to hear how much time she said God. And, you know, um, I hope that she keep the same en energy moving forward. And uh, she doesn't let the pressure of being... A so social media sensation get to her. Now, when I say that, you know, you might be a social media sensation, but you might not have the money coming in, but there's always OnlyFans. I'm just saying, I just hope that, you know, she keep the faith and um, do not start her OnlyFans. Do not start on OnlyFans. Now I'm not gonna lie, if you do start on OnlyFans, because you got some you got some motion right now, you, you might hit make a quick you might it might be a lick for you for real for real. You might make a, a few millions. But keep the faith because that's not what God wants you to do. Alright? Some of us might want you to do that, but that's not what God wants you to do. So keep the faith. And y'all boys, stop being thirsty. Every time we have some good, some some some, some tea, y'all mess it up. Y'all found out where she live at, putting two and two together because it's a home, the only Home Depot probably around her her uh her community. Come on, y'all. That's that's stalker behavior. That's creep shit. Anyway, that's the video, man.